Hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, Tabor Talk. Pretty crappy day here. Uh, Saturday, it's raining, kind of cold. Um, the Yankee game was uh, was canceled, uh, so bummed out about that. Eh, it's no big deal. Or it was the last week of baseball. And by the way, by the way, if you're living in some closet or something, Aaron Judge hit three home runs last night for the second time this year. Three home run game. And uh, no Yankee in their 120-year illustrious history going back to, I don't know, 1903 when they were the Highlanders. So very, very impressive. And when you think about Aaron Judge, he's only played 100, 100 games. He's missed 60 games. Or what is it, right? He just played his 100th game yesterday. So he missed 60-plus games. Still 35 home runs. Come on. I mean, he combined the 35 with his 62 last year. That's 97 home runs in two years. It's nuts. He is the best player in baseball, I think. You know, a lot of people say showy and, you know. Uh, but uh, for me, Aaron Judge, and he's a great guy on and off the field. So, um, anyway, just throwing up a video here. Listening to... Hasanabi, I love this guy, Hassan Piker. I also love the way she sits there in silence so, as if she just made some epic clapback that left the room speechless. Like, no, it's very good. speechless because what you just said was uh, so mind-numbing. I'll put this in the comment section. He has a whole two-hour thing here on uh, just pearly things, that ridiculous 25-year-old uh, lady, whatever she is, who hates women, thinks that women shouldn't vote. It's just a, a dumb kid who wants attention and views. Um, and by the way, she came from a very wealthy family. So it's just this spoiled, rotten kid who, and you, you should see, like her father had, I forget the name of the company, but for like her birthday present, he gave her like this 300 foot like slide. Like, like it's unbelievable. Like they're, her parents were multi, multi millionaires and just a spoiled, rotten kid. And, uh, you know, she's a red pill. It's just an idiotic thing. Women shouldn't vote and talks about dating, whatever. And by the way, she's a very plain Jane looking person. So, um, I don't know. It's talking about being desirable to men. I mean, oh, anyway. So, another topic on, uh, um, on Hasanabi, uh, they were talking about his height. Like, that's a big thing on the internet, online. It's like this sort of, you know, shaming short people, like short guys. You see it all over the place. Are you 5'5"? Five, five? You're 5'3". Five, and it's like, uh, women won't talk to me. I've met so many people who are short, who are so obsessed with height. And I'm like, I'll tell you what, I've never thought about it ever once. I mean, I'm lucky I'm 6'2", but I never thought of it as an advantage. I never really even, like, is this really a thing? Like, do people care about this? I, I know that I guess there are some women who don't like short guys, and I'm like, well, I mean, that's pretty fucking shallow, right? And if, if, if you know, you meet a, a woman who feels that way, then just move on to the next one, <laughs> you know? There are so many people out there, right? Um... I, I think what's interesting too, there's a you know the thing called the Napoleonic complex that short guys have this chip on their shoulder and it's like they have so much to prove. And it's there's some truth to that. There's no question about it. Some of the most competitive, fierce, fiery people are are sure people, right? And super ambitious. Hey, look at Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan's I think five six, five seven, who knows? He needs he may say he's taller, but He's a little guy, Danny DeVito's um, lost brother or Danny DeVito's cousin. <laughs> Pretty funny stuff. All right, I'm here to say that height means nothing. I, I mean, I guess it does. I don't know. I've never thought of it as an advantage. And then you just think of the culture with that fucking orange turd who's always saying, oh, I'm 6'3". Oh, I'm 6'3". What, what was this thing? 6'3"? 215 pounds, which is nuts. Um, he might be that tall, but he's pushing three bills. <laughs> yeah, he's a fat slob who doesn't exercise. 
And by the way, he continues to shame people on their physical looks. This is what's so disgusting about, about this guy. I mean, we go out, this is what it is. Hillary Clinton used to say, when they go low, we go high. Listen, it doesn't work with them. And there's a book, I forget the, the author's name, but it's hit them where, they're, where, where it hurts. So if they go dirty, you go dirty too. Like, you know what I mean? That we're into this kind of culture war. That we're in a war. Like, like we're decent people, progressives, lefties, whatever you will. I'm actually kind of a centrist, but but the thing is we're decent. I wouldn't think of calling someone, you know, ugly or fat or any of this. It's that culture of right wing. You know, he started the, the, the Trump with the fat slob and Rosie O'Donnell. So we hit him back. Baby hands. You see... Donald Trump's little stubby hands. He's like 6'3", and he's got the most disgusting, little, tiny, stubby, old man hands. Like, his hand would be like, I happen to have big hands, but his hands would probably fit in here. And they're fat, disgusting, and stubby. And I don't like doing this myself. I think that's gross, too. But that's what we're dealing with with these people. Okay. On that note, kind of totally random, all over the place. Good friends, good books on a sleepy conscience. Peace, love, and understanding here. Tabor Talk. Notre Dame and Ohio State tonight. I'm pretty pumped up for that. I'm not really a college football fan, kind of a casual. I kind of root for Notre Dame, so that should be fun. And uh, the Yankees tomorrow. And uh, my Cowboys. I am so into my freaking Cowboys. They're 2-0. They're playing a terrible team. Arizona Cardinals. Um, and of course, the injury to Trevon Diggs is a big blow to the Cowboys. But there you go. Everything in this video. Sports, how tall you are, Trump being an asshole, etc., etc. Good friends, good books, and a sleepy conscience. Peace, love, and understanding here in Tabor Talk.